G'day folks, this is Shane and I'm at GeekCon 2018 and I'm here with the Tone King, Lewis. Hello everybody. I'm also here with a few other guys which you'll see in just a moment as well. And I thought this would be an interesting video because nearly every time I demonstrate an overdrive or an amp, everyone says it always sounds the same. And the reason is, I've got a sound in my head that I know I like. Mm -hmm. So I've grabbed a guitar I would never usually go for, but I'm in the presence of the rock god himself. <laughs> so that's you, this. man, that's you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is an Ibanez with uh, two humbuckers and a single coil in the middle, and this contraption here I'm not used to. Yeah, that's Which, uh, special for blues players right yeah, there. Yeah, that, that's what I figured. So I'm gonna see if I can dial in my sound with a guitar like this and a Hughes and Kettner amp, which I had a quick play through yesterday. And then we're gonna see if Lewis can do the same thing. I think between all of us, all four of us coming up, we've all got a sound in our head and we wanna see if we can kind of get that out with you know, almost anything that we use. So I, I think it's a cool kind of test, yep. what do you reckon? I, I, I reckon. So this is the amp, it's an 18 watt uh, Hughes and Kettner. It's a valve amp or tube amp, depending on where you live. I've set everything up at 12 o'clock except for the master volume so we don't kill everybody in here. And I'm just gonna see if I can get a bluesy sound and then see if you can get your rock and roll I'm gonna put also the gain on, okay. Yeah, no Perfect. worries. So we're gonna start here, I guess. So that's neck pickup and it's kind of not too far off what I would normally go for, but I'm hearing things in it I, I don't quite like for my particular sound. So I don't mind a bit of gain, so we'll uh, definitely ch turn that up a little bit more. But I'm gonna turn the mids and the bass up a little bit and back the treble off just to sort of tame the harshness of the, of the high end for my particular style. And maybe it's this guitar to some extent too, but we'll give this a go. <laughs> the new blues guitar. There it I reckon is. It's, it's hot red. So I have a question for you. I'm surprised yeah. you started on the lead channel, not the clean channel with the gain on the clean channel. Yeah, I, I kind of like a sound that I can get a solo tone out of Got and it. then okay. I can turn my volume down and kind of... For me, that's a lot easier than channel switching and yes, stuff. And yes, for yes. blues, you can kind of get... And then I can just turn up. It's definitely a bluesy tone. Maybe a slightly hot blues tone, but <laughs> it's a blues tone. It's all in the licks, really. <laughs> yeah. All right, you wanna go have a go? Yeah, yeah, cool. let's do it. Should we set, reset it to zero and... You know what, let's start with yours. Let's, right. let's, let's pick it up from there. for me. <laughs> Man, that is awesome. What a tone. It's, it's, it's the... the explain what you were looking for there like you were looking for just more gain basically so that if was... you let, let me bring the gain back down and, and this is good what you had was nice probably a more refined sound in my very humble opinion. you know it's like more articulate yeah. but like if I wanted to play a little lynch mob yeah. it's 
it's like the, you know, it's, do you ever see like <laughs> when they take a metal song and do like a jazz version on YouTube? That's what that would sound like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you. chug yeah very cool All but it's right. I, I feel like that's an 80s chug it's not a today's chug like the gent stuff that's yeah 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 no, we... that's a, I, I think that's a healthy 80s <laughs> hey, this, is a, this is a healthy 80s <laughs> guitar as well yeah. it needs a handle and i'd be sick but, so uh, what do you think of that? I'm curious. Uh, man, it sounded awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I love all styles of music, right? right? right so I right. like heavy guitars. I listen to some stuff you'd probably be pretty surprised, you know. And, and but the stuff I play, I kind of like, kind of know the sound, sound I like in my head. So and that sounded huge. So you try on my setting now. You ready? Oh, I try. Oh, okay. I cool. started on yours. <laughs> But I noticed you played different music. I played some White Zombie, I mean, yeah. allegedly. In yeah. There, so yeah. You don't think you could play the blues on that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean. It's a different sort of sound. I think yeah. of Gary Moore when I hear it. That, that's sort of like really freight. It's a bit too high gain for blues. I right, think right. I'd be um, like banished from the blues community right, if right. I had it sound like that. But I love it. I, I could definitely get into that. <laughs> That's funny. One amp yep. suiting two, two completely different genres of music. Absolutely. And we've got two more coming there up. There you go. All Thanks, right. Man. Thank you Thanks so much. Cheers. I appreciate the opportunity. No worries. Thank you. All right. Up next on the chopping block, we have Mike from Guitargate yes, sir. on YouTube. I'll link his channel in the cards in the description as well. So thanks for doing this. Dude, thank really you. I appreciate it. It's I'm awesome looking forward you. to it. Yeah, I heard you play some stuff yesterday. I ain't on YouTube, obviously. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm dying to hear you play in person. So this cool. is great. And I thought what we'd do, we'd start with the Time King settings for you. And then we'll yeah, you know, he, he left it rather abrasive. <laughs> 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 Which is fun. Yeah. And obviously you play different stuff when you have different tones. Totally. You know? So let's see, let's see what he's got here. He's got it just... Dimed out with the lead boost. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> the single coils can do it. Well, you're making it work. Making it work. All right, so I'm going to start over. I'm going to go yep. take that boost off, go back to the clean, mm -hmm. and we'll start it all new. I always start all amps at high noon. Yep. Yeah. So this is clean. This will be our neck pickup. silliness right yeah. now that's actually pretty darn close to what I would what I would do I'm gonna I'm gonna dime the gain on the clean channel bring up the bass a tad <laughs> Yeah, that's 
where it's at. Um, wow. So I like, for something like this, clean, very percussive is what I'm going for. I'm going for very percussive. And then the real test is whether you can go from that and then still have it sustain nice and beautifully, but then still have that, that warmth and pop. So like, is you went for the amp loud over the gain control. I mean, you've got the gain control obviously up, but the, you look for more headroom in your sound. Always. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Yeah, and it's and, uh, for something, especially with single coil stuff that's generally clean, mm -hmm. you know, if you have a lot of headroom, it's still gonna sustain like gain, yeah. you know, like, yeah. like a higher gain amp. But you know, I'm always looking, you know, I'm always a volume knob rider. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Cool. So like having, just having all that, just the, having the tubes work hard and having all that extra, you know, all that dynamic range, you know. Beautiful. I like this thing, what a man. Sound. Oh, me too. Yeah. And it, it's, well, Three out of four people who have been able to get their sound really quickly. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, it's going yeah. to show it's in here to start with, hey. For sure. Now, one thing I always like to do too, just like when you started at noon, yeah. I always just like to turn all the EQ all the way up and then work backwards just to see. Okay. Just to, oh, just to see what it kind of does. Yeah, yeah. You know? If it's just Ooh. way too, yeah, it's just hot. You know? Okay. <clears throat> um, what's that? What's that one track? And then work back, let's bring the treble back to middle. That's, no, let's bring the mids back too. So almost back to where I had it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's, awesome. That's where I would put it. That's fantastic. Sharp and spanky. Sounds great. <laughs> wow. You can't go past a good clean sound, hey. When it works, it's unbelievable. Dude, it's so true. Yeah. The, and I always find like in a situation, you tend to want to reach for the, if using pedals, for example, I sometimes find like I want to turn up the game when I should actually be turning up the volume a little more. Yeah. And all of a sudden you get this big spread of sound and it's yeah. beautiful, so. Obviously the main issue is you can't always play loud. Yeah, yeah. Like unless you play in Rick's band, which yeah. uh, we'll get to, we'll get <laughs> it. He's like, yeah. <laughs> I, thanks Dude, so much, man. Thank you so it. much, man. Hey, no worries. Up next, we've got Dr. Rick, and he's pulled a guitar out with P90s. Tell us a little bit about this. Yeah, look, I've got a bit of a P90 fetish going on at the moment. So you still get that sting of the single coil, but just a bit more girth through the mid-range, and uh, who doesn't like a bit more girth? And we're going to start where the settings were just left off with our mics uh, set up, so and then you can walk us through how you get your sound as well. Yeah, OK. So you have to speak louder. I've got a bit of tinnitus after the mic. <laughs> but it's good sort. It's the only sort you want. Yeah. OK, so this is on the bridge pickup. I just good. need to take Mike wherever I go. <laughs> He's the Set amp, up my stuff. The amp tweaker. That's right. <laughs> They call it hillbilly channel, hillbilly channel switch, don't they? Oh, okay, that's yeah. a new term for me. That's is it? Good. Yeah, I've heard yeah. that before. That's yeah. great. So, is that how you? Is there anything you're hearing you change, or are you pretty? No, look, I, I mean, I always have an overdrive anyway. Yeah. But uh, this would be the perfect sort of bass tone, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, look, it'll clean up really well.
So after all these, I've been playing with Rick for years and years and years, and I, I know both of us don't often struggle getting the sound we like from from amps because it's, you've got a sound you know you're kind of finding. Loud. That's yeah, loud. Like volume yeah. always seems to work better for what we do too, especially yeah, with the blue stuff. Yeah, but yeah, I agree. Yeah, no, it's fantastic, and I'm, I'm fast falling in love with this guitar this week, folks. So. Um, Hi, honey. Wrap it up. Yeah. It's coming. Up. Make some room. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll put all the links through to the other YouTube channels up in the cards and also in the description. You can check out the other channels as well. And uh, yeah, that was fun. So four guitar players getting their sound. Well, you guys are pretty much twinners when it comes to tone. So that worked out all right. And we'll, <laughs> we'll catch you soon. This, this video is called Four Guys, One Amp. There we go. Hey, I like it. Yeah. Let's do it. Done. Cheers. See ya.